was a cold dog night, filled with frightening dreams. When the doctor awoke and began to scream, the buck, the buck, I'm bringing him back. Benevolent as ever with a soul so black. If down on that hole is where I gotta go, then I'll goddamn do it. He's the host of the show. Love and Evelyn Buckley Show! <laughs> What you want me to do? Joe, you're supposed to introduce the show. Why didn't you rehearse this, Nick? You said we didn't need to rehearse it, Joe. Yeah, because I expected notes or something running on here. We're already rolling, Joe. No sh Cheyenne. Get out of here. You need to do something? Yeah, f it. Let's just wing it. In three, two... Uh... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Benevolent Buckley Show. Each week, I, the Benevolent Buckley, will entertain you with shock, Poor and mildly interesting guests. <laughs> ah, it's good to see you, Dr. Erlenmeyer. It's been quite some time, my old friend. Why, it's been like four score and seven bones ago. We decided that my sidekick would only laugh. Yep. All right. For the viewers at home, let me introduce you to the band leader of the Benevolent Buckley Show, Sean Walsh! Joe, it's... it's Goalmaster. Really? Yeah. Fine. This is what we did in rehearsal. Okay, I'll do it's it. It's not scary if I use my real name. Okay. Okay. Got it? What is it? For the viewers at home, let me introduce you to the band leader of the Benevolent Buckley Show, Sean, uh, Ghoul Caller. Master, Joe. Ghoul Master. The Ghoul Master! Hey, Joe, before we get started, I, uh, I got a nice riddle for you. Check All right. Out. Yeah? What's dark loves murder and being on air. A dead crow. You! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's your first show, and I know it's a big deal, so I got you a very, very, very special present. If you don't mind. Is this cool? Great. I'd love to hear it. Joe, we wish you the best of luck hosting your first show. Your hair is perfect, your cheeks are rosy, your glass has got a glow. Oh, Joe, I know if I screw up singing my Silly songs, the benevolent Buckley will be there. Help me all. That was good! Each episode will be full of spooky segments like Potion of the Day, Potion. Creature Feature, Creature. Unholy Unboxing, Boxes. and Sponsor Spot. Why are you fing this show, seriously? I have to pitch a sponsor in the middle of every show. Yes, Joe, they're the advertisers. Why couldn't they just sell an ad up in the beginning? This is the only way they pay for the whole series. They can pay for my dick, it's the only thing they're getting. Creature feature. <laughs> this episode's creature feature is titled The Dire Dryer. Get ready, audience, because I'm about to get seriously spooky. Little Billy walked down the basement stairs, looking to get himself some clean clothes. You see, he'd been playing outside in the mud and dirt, just like Mama asked him not to. But when he opened up the dryer, do you know what he saw? A pair of eyes staring right back at him. It was a linen leprechaun! Billy leaned in close to get a good look. And suddenly it swallowed him whole! Stop, stop, stop. And do you know what his parents found when they went downstairs? Goddamn plain socks! You okay, Joe? The take was ruined, the set's ruined, and my note cards are ruined. Let's just bring out our guests. We still have to do Potion of the Day. Oh, f me! Potion of the Day. 
Bottoms up! Mm. I'm so thirsty I can drink a goat! Can I get some new cards? New notes, please? Oh! For all you viewers at home, I never know what's going to be inside the potion of the day. Ooh, this looks like a good one. It's Grumlin's Brew! Mm -hmm. It's some sort of fizzy purple liquid. Perhaps an elixir of the mind! Bottoms up. All right, that was the uh, potion. Let's just bring out the guest. Sponsor spotlight. All right. The Benevolent Buckley Show is brought to you by this fantastic product. No, don't even ask me. I'm not doing this again. No way, get your goddamn hands off me, hugger. The Benevolent Buckley Show is brought to you by Crunchy Towel. The only towel with an inner aluminum core that can retain its shape. Mold it, bend it, dry your cracks. The crunchy towel is the only towel that can hold your snacks. What exactly is this, Nick? The sponsor, Joe. They can sell whatever they want. Yeah, but why would anyone buy this? You need to sell the product whether you like it or not. What in the hell is going Especially on before there? the station manager gets here. Look, it's very not flamers. Are these going to be lit again? No. no. God damn it. Read the copy, Joe. What the hell's going on here? Well, let me tell you, goddamn shit's fucked. Hey, watch your language. Are you guys recording this? <sighs> Jesus, Joe. Five episodes left to shoot, and you've already set off the fire alarm. Get it together! Look, I wouldn't have had to if you had to have with my show. I told you I didn't need a sidekick and a goddamn puppet. Whoa, oh, oh. whoa. It's, it's, it's fine. Shaw Walsh is the only thing good about this show. The only thing likable about this show. And that puppet adds some much needed gleefulness. Wait! Oh. <laughs> are you, uh, are you telling me that I'm incapable of doing my job? I'm telling you, you fucked up your job. Listen here, you fat ghost. All you gotta do is look into that camera, read what's on these cards, and be entertaining. That's all you're being paid to do. Now watch the attitude, and never try this with me again. Oh. And redo the sponsor spotlight. Hey, Joe, man. Buckley. Hey, uh. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. He's had a bad day. He's had a bad day. He had too much Diet Coke, man. I saw him back there. Don't worry about it. You know how it gets. You're doing great. You're doing great. Give me a smile. Your big old smile. Come on, Joe. It's good. I'm gonna start this over. I'm gonna start the spotlight uh, sponsor over again. Is that, is that good? Can we start over again? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. This is supposed to be a gothic talk show. I can't have a- No, it's gothic! God damn it, Joe. No, I can't have you singing and dancing on my set while I'm trying to do a gothic talk show. It's a gothic organ. Look, Sean, Sean is what brings the music to the show. People enjoy music and rela it's relatable. No, this is my show. I say no more music. Oh, well, listen, look at this. Look at this, Joe. Oh. Get off my set. You serious? Joe, come here. I appreciate the opportunity. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't... We good? Yeah. So I can... No, no. No, you're off. But we're fine. But then I can come back later. No. No. I'm, I'm still on contract, right? Can... No! Hey, I'm still on contract, right? Uh... Like... Joe can actually hire and fire anybody he wants. Oh, 
It's in it's in his contract. How can he hire or fire me? I, I mean, he's, it's, he's it's the, his he's name. It's his hosting the goddamn show. He his, it's his name on the show. I don't I don't give him consent. I don't know who he had to suck. But he You're sucked. Disgusting. He sucked some. I'm sorry, Sean. Still get paid though. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Sure. It's awesome. You guys, you guys still good for bowling on Thursday? Sure, pal. Do you have a ride? I, I'll, I'll call somebody. Joey can still call me. Tomorrow. What's next? It's time for the guest. Ooh, Dr. Rillemeyer, release the guest! Special guest! Hello there, Mr. Kimbler. Joe? And Welcome to the Benevolent Buckley Show! For the viewers at home! Sorry? So, for the viewers at home! So, okay, Simon Kimbler. Oh, let's call him Sam. For the viewers at home, Simon... For those of you who don't know, this is Simon Kimbler, a world-famous horror author. Uh, um, horror author. Horror author, one of my favorites. God damn it, Joe. It's good to be here, Joe. Yeah, it's good to have you. So, uh, out of my 14 books, you read them all? Yes, yes. Have you read the latest? All 13. All thir no, no, I've got 14 out now, two weeks ago. Ah, you tricked me. Oh, uh, I tell you, it's not on the New York Times bestseller list, but it's on the uh, Cleveland Free Dealer. Well, that's good enough, they say. Number 23. You know, sir, I really love your books because they just speak to me right here in the heart. You know, I'm a, I'm a horror fan at heart, and that's what I really love. You do? Oh, yes. Uh, what's your favorite uh, book of mine? You know... I really love your uh, Basterville hat. No, I don't read the back of the book. I just I, read the covers. I realize that, as long as you read it. So, how do you think the show's going? And can you find an equivalent in one of your books? Hmm. Well, from what I've seen backstage in the green room on the monitor, I'd say the, uh, the Chestertown Massacre, that book. You know, I was getting people killed off page three. Sure, sure. And it just never stopped until page 287. Body count in that book? Massive, massive. Oh, yeah, over 500. Uh, you did read that. That's, That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, you can't It's one of my favorites. Uh, so, is it true that most of your ideas come from your dreams? Well, that is true. That is true. I was a child of the 70s, and uh, I tell you, you get a really good novel out of a good dose of psychedelics. You'd be surprised on the ideas you could get out of a full blotter of acid. Let me tell you, whenever I was smoking weed with my brother, I thought my fingers were toes. So, how do you feel about your new upcoming book? Do you think it might be one of your best? I'd have to say yes. I'd have to say yes. Yeah, I, I call it the, the meteor that almost hit Earth. And let me tell you, it's going to be fantastic. Spine chilling! Uh, you don't know if it's going to hit. You don't know if it's not. You just don't know what direction it's going to go. I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh, I don't! You know, the title might, though. Maybe mm. I have to reset that. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it'll just be the meteor. That could be. I think, hey, you know what? I'd like to thank you, Joe. You uh, might have yeah. gave that. You might have gave that idea. You know, that you're you're up on your uh, pop culture, aren't you, Joe? Yeah, yeah, I pay attention. Uh, I didn't say that, but you're up on your pop culture. Can I try your hat? Yes, you could, Joe. Now, this is the front. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a good look for you. Good, Howdy, good partner. look. That's a, no, it's not a cowboy hat. Okay. Uh, now, it's uh, back in my day, uh, back b way before you were born. Uh, when were you know, I love this hat so much, I want to finish the show with it. Why don't you stay on with me for Comet Cauldron? <sighs> what? Comet Cauldron! Uh, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be honored to uh, stay, uh, whatever you just said. Oh! Comet Cauldron. <laughs> now it's time to take a dip into the Comet Cauldron. Since it's our first episode, we went ahead and let the crew add in their own comments. Why are you so fat? Because my mother fed me too much. Why does this show suck, the producer? Let's just take out one more. Kill yourself. All right, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs>
I, I do, I do a mean Jim, Jimmy Stewart. I, 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 Mary, Mary, where are our kids? Ma Mary, don't you know me? Don't you know me, Mary? Oh, it's George. George, this time of the year, jump off the bridge.